If you've done user research before, you'll know that it can be really hard sometimes to find someone with the exact persona, the exact qualifications that you're looking for in order to learn the information that you need for whatever product or service you're trying to understand uh, and, and, you know, improve. So in the last video, I was looking at how we can refine our user interviews uh, questions with chat GPT. How can we, you know, give it one question, ask it to tweak it, you know, uh, give us more follow-up questions, uh, rewrite it for specific focuses. And it was a really interesting mental exercise and a tool that's actually useful um, uh, to me at least. And so I wanted to see, can we stretch this a little bit further and maybe into a territory that's almost fictional where we're asking ChatGPT to kind of interview itself, but by assuming a persona. So what we're going to do is I'm going to kick this off first by asking it a single question and then by giving it, uh, and then by asking it to give me more follow-up questions. And then I'm going to have a persona put into it and I'm going to ask ChatGPT to answer those questions as that persona. So let's try so first, I want to say, um, what would be ways to, uh, uh, what would be follow-up questions to how, uh, what is the most convenient way to uh, retrieve your medical records? Cool. So we'll just kick this off because in, in uh, this example and in all of these examples, basically, I'm going to try and do as little work as possible just to see how far we can get with this. All right. So it's giving me uh, questions about my medical records. Oh, whatever. Uh, we can see now. All right. How would... Uh, 50-year-old Caucasian man, answer these questions. Uh, let's, let's be a bit more specific. With a high school, with only a high school education. Answer these questions. Classic, it depends, but uh, all right. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. I'm not sure. Yes, I think I need to show some kind of identification. I'm not sure I'd ask my doctors off. All right. He's very uncertain about a lot. Um, let's see now. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right. So it's a lot of I'm not sure, which is not very interesting, honestly. Uh, how would he answer them if he was a working professional with an MBA? <laughs> okay. Suddenly this person is a genius. Okay. Typically it takes about five to ten business days to retrieve. Okay. What did what did they answer for number three up here? I'm not sure. Very interesting. All right. Uh yes, I need to provide my health care. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is all really cool um, that it actually like changes it so intensely. Uh, this person's like HIPAA compliant. Um, I don't know that you can really trust this, right? I mean, like uh, if I ask, uh, how did you uh, create, how did you provide these answers? Or like, what was 
the information you used to provide these answers. Let's see if it actually... Okay. Okay. So it just gives me the generic response. It gives me whenever it's not sure. But I'm going to try one more thing. What if... Okay. Answer the same questions. But this time the man is... Uh, uh, um, of Hispanic origin he's married and has two children and he's privacy conscious con con ch conscious conscience what's going on there we go I probably wrote that wrong Uh, I want to make sure that my personal there. Okay. Hmm. So, you know, I, again, don't know if these are accurate answers, like this five to 10 business days, like where is that coming from? Uh, I guess we can like maybe ask chat GPT uh, to, to, to elaborate a little bit more. And... Um, I prefer this message, okay, unauthorized act, okay. So, but what, what can be really interesting is kind of using this as sort of a role play partner. So in, in some cases, you know, uh, when I'm preparing an interview uh, with someone else, we'll role play and we'll just kind of assume certain answers. And it's just a way to stress test the questions. Of course, in this case, it's answering the questions it generated on its own. Um, but it can be really interesting to see like can we tweak these things uh based on some of the things it's saying so like for example there's one thing that keeps coming up here which is this five to ten business days uh, but i don't know i, I want to try one last thing so finally keep all the details about this man the same except be specific uh, except make the answers specific to someone living in California. And let's see if it changes. Living in California, perfect. There we go. So this is really interesting now because it's sort of doubling as a research agent. It's injecting <laughs> location specific information into the man's answers. Um, I don't think it's doing anything with Hispanic, honestly. Uh, I don't think it's changing from like Caucasian to Hispanic. I didn't. I don't know what I was hoping for, to be frank. Uh, but it's it's kind of cool to see. Uh, yeah. Is it just adding in California after everything? It seems like it might be. Okay. And there we go. So yeah, it seems like it seems like uh, it's really just using a very similar answers. Well, he didn't say HIPAA up here and then once I said California, it mentioned HIPAA. Uh so that's kind of cool. Um in a language other than English in my preferred language okay kind of interesting right so maybe that's how it used that it didn't say sp spanish uh but but you know that that's still interesting here so yeah this is an interesting way to role play with chat gpt and have it answer questions in potentially different ways um change certain information so maybe if we try with texas it would give us different answers maybe if we uh added different persona types, he, you know, the man would start to be a little bit more um, privacy conscious, less privacy conscious, more tech savvy, less tech savvy. We saw the difference between someone who's uneducated or like only has a high school degree versus an MBA. It really doesn't think highly of someone that has a high school degree, uh, only a high school education, but I also didn't give it any other information. So it's like, it's hard to know in the data set of chat GPT, like, 
what it considers someone with just a high school education versus maybe someone with a high school edu- only high school education, but also uh, a very successful entrepreneur and, and all this other stuff, right? So, but again, just wanted to share this because I think it's really interesting. Uh, you can learn a little bit about the localities. It might be even better if the questions were more specific uh, and I had wrote them, written them myself uh, or, you know, maybe bounce them um, with chat GPT, like in that previous video. Uh, but um, overall, kind of a useful tool, I guess. I would not trust the data, but potentially a good first layer of interviewing. So I don't know if you're going to try this yourself. If you do, let me know what experiments you did in the comments. I'd, I'd love to learn more. I think sharing this stuff together will only make it better for everyone. So uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what you guys do with this. And personally, really having a lot of fun doing these experiments. So I'll see what I'll dig up in the next one. Cheers.